The National Fisheries Authority is hosting a two-day fourth regional steering committee meeting that started today and will end this Thursday at the APEC House. The second day of the meet will be to inform the fourth RSC meeting strategic conclusions, decisions and agreed management actions by the four littoral countries, PNG, Australia, Indonesia and Timor-Leste. For more than two years, the RSC meetings have been confined to being conducted and coordinated through digital platforms due to the global pandemic. However, despite the challenges, they have managed to successfully sustain dialogue and cooperation. UNDP PNG resident representative Dirk Wagner thanked NFA for hosting this year's meetings and looks forward to positive outcomes. We stand ready to provide additional advice on the development of such important initiatives. We also look forward to future collaboration and designs for future projects. This fourth RSC serves as the first in-person meeting of at C2 partners, as nothing can replace the trust and rapport that is built from face-to-face -face meetings. Let me uh, thank uh, UNDP, thank uh, members uh, of the program and those who are in charge of this program for uh, saying yes to Papua for hosting this important meeting. We will be Christian ready to work with all of you. And for me, I look forward to a fruitful deliberation of the outcome of, of, of this meeting. And uh, like I said, uh, if we haven't been really been committed in this program, I'd like to assure the committee that we will uh, uh, take, a, take one step further by uh, elevating our commitment to this program. NFA Managing Director Justin Ilakini said NFA is laying the necessary mechanisms in ensuring the continuity of their efforts. He said in the meetings they will tackle new developments, persisting and emerging challenges in the region. An important aspect of day one meeting is the conduct of strategic discussion on NFA sustainability strategy post 2024. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.